Hi, I'm Ritika Khattar and we are continuing our conversation with Paresh Mehti in Behind the Canvas. Dada, you have a very interesting style of dressing with different kinds of hats and caps that you wear. Did you develop that style or it just happened over the years? See, I love color. Color is life. Not that deliberately I do that. It is also very, very spontaneous. This also reflects in a lot of your art since the color palette is so vibrant, so stunningly beautiful, dark blues, reds, bright yellows. It comes from our country. It's vibrant, we are, you know, country of colors. I love those and I try to depict those colors in my art. Tata, which is your most favorite painting? Uh, you cannot ask a mother which one is your, you know, the favorite kid, but my most uh, struggle-oriented art I did for this uh, New Delhi Airport Terminal 3, 850 feet painting. I did not understand in the beginning that there can be a painting of that long. So it was challenging. Were you given the space and told that you need to make a painting that big? No, no, that was the size which they wanted. So I started and I depicted the whole of India. It's called the Indian Odyssey. That was one of my, you know, really memorable work. Dada, your movement back from paintings, oils and watercolors to sculptures, how did that shift happen? About seven, eight years back, I said, you know, let me do some sculpture. And the studio I went, he is a sculptor. So he was surprised that I'm a painter. How come I'm, you know, handling the clay so well? Because I grew up with clay. And what all mediums uh, bronze, have you? Oh. Bronze and a uh, lot of metal sculpture, a lot of installation. So I'm doing huge, in fact, sculptures these days. Dada, we've seen an installation of yours with 8,000 bells. How did the inspiration come to you? Actually, bell, sound of bells, it takes away our negative energy, it brings positive energy. We've seen an installation of yours about a boat with lanterns also, and a lot of paintings of yours. See, boat installation is very, very money in one quality. In fact, a lot of my friends used to joke with me that if you go to moon, you will paint boat. <laughs> And I really lived in a fishing village. So boat, the philosophy of boat is so much into my blood that it comes always spontaneously. So the installation boat uh, with the boat and 365 lalten. Yeah. You will see in many of my paintings there are laltens. You know why? Till the age of 18, I did not have any electricity at home. So I used to study and paint whatever into that kerosene lalten. There's a very famous sculpture of yours, Equus Quattro, which is a flying horse. It's a huge sculpture and it has also wing. And I have painted on that horse with the oil, depicted all those intimacy, love, you know, harmony, closeness, sorrow, everything our life. Dada, what next? See, I did already four films. If you see those films, you'll realize they are my life, they are my art. So maybe in future I will do some big feature films, but based on art, an art film. So when we call you a superstar of Indian art world, we are not wrong. From art, painting, sculptures, photography, to filmmaking, you have it all. I don't know it is superstar or whatever, but uh, I'm like a servant, just, uh, you know, serving and doing those works. Wonderful. Well, time is a constraint here, though we're loving talking with you and knowing your journey so far, which is beautiful, and we wish you all the very best for future. Stay tuned for more insights into art and artists.